Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Thomas Spark and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what are the best VPNs to use for the most number of simultaneous devices. Now these are VPNs that you can use on a lot of devices around the house. So let's say you have an iPad, you have a phone, you have a smart stick, you have a couple computers, a couple different tablets. Whatever the case is, maybe you have a big family, uh, a lot of people connecting to devices. Let's say you have like, I guess maybe five or six devices and they're all connected at the same time to the chosen VPN you have. That is what are gonna be simultaneous devices. Now, to be honest, most people probably only use maybe one or two devices at the same time. They might be using their computer and have their phone both connected to VPN. However, things get a little bit tricky, like I said, if you have other family members doing the same thing. Maybe you're using the computer, using your phone, and both are connected to VPN. You want to stay secure and private on the internet. Maybe you're torrenting on your computer and you're using your phone on the couch or something and unblocking geo restrictions. And then you have someone else on your house who is also unblocking geo restrictions on Netflix, um, watching stuff on there. Maybe they're on their phone as well. They also have VPN on there. So things can stand, start to add up depending on your circumstance. And you don't want to get a VPN that only has, you know, four or five devices nowadays, really. You know, stuff like ExpressVPN only has five simultaneous devices. And going through my tier list itself, I was actually surprised on how many VPNs only have around five simultaneous device use or less. Even stuff like AirVPN, which is pretty high rated on my tier list, IBVPN, VPN Area. These are kind of VPNs that are pretty highly rated and overall pretty good VPNs but they don't have that many simultaneous device use, which is disappointing. So today we're gonna be rounding up some of my favorite VPNs and all these VPNs have really good simultaneous device use. They all have around eight to 10 plus, which is fantastic. Not only that, but ironically, some of these VPNs are actually very affordable and pretty much all of them are affordable. So it's kind of funny that some of the cheapest VPNs are get you the most bang for your buck, whereas more expensive VPNs are actually getting you less simultaneous devices. I think that's kind of interesting and a little... Guess I got some paint on my shirt. Hey guys, if you haven't checked out my website, I really encourage you to do so. It's vpntierlist.com. You can find all sorts of information, my tier list, important links, um, my favorite products, etc. Also guys, if you want to help support the channel and buy some of my merch, I think it looks really cool. I got tons of cool designs like this one and like some of these that have cool gradients of colored matrix inside privacy icons. Anyways guys, back to the video. Links down in the description down below. Anyways guys, so as always, TorGuard VPN is king here on the channel. It gives you eight simultaneous connections, which is really good, up from its previous amount of five. I think they increased this number sometime last year, but having eight simultaneous connections for only uh, around five bucks a month or $30 a year is a steal. This is a really good, whoops, there's a space there. No space. I was like, what happened to my promo code? So there you go, 50% off with promo code Tom Spark, and it gets you eight simultaneous devices, all access and everything included. So eight simultaneous devices is really good. TorGuard is my number one rated VPN on the channel, so that's why I'm mentioning it first. A very solid VPN, very solid simultaneous connections. Next up on the list, we have WeVPN, who is kind of like the new kid to the block. I think WeVPN does have some growing pains, especially lately I've been testing it. Some of the protocols can be buggy. Some of the servers can have slower speeds than I want them to have. But overall, I do think the team here is very good. Uh, guys working on it are very friendly. Everyone goes to their Discord and talks to them personally, and everyone seems to be pretty happy with it after my recommending it to everyone here and giving it the number two rated VPN. And one reason I did that is because like TorGuard, it's only $5 a month or $30 a year. You also get 10 simultaneous devices, which is even better than TorGuard and a very sweet deal. It's not gonna have as many servers and as some of the extensions and stuff aren't quite out yet and it's still, like I said, a little bit buggy here and there. So it's not as highly rated or trusted yet as TorGuard VPN. But in terms of simultaneous connections, it does even better and it's very solid. Next up, we have the infamous Winscribe. Now, Winscribe is around $9 a month or $48 a year. It can be cheaper if you want to just select specific servers and have limited servers. But if we're talking about the same kind of plan as the other VPNs with all access, the premium plan, 
it's going to be nine dollars a month and 48 or 49 dollars a year this is going to include everything there i do wish that one scribe's pricing um, page was a little bit more detailed in exactly here it doesn't actually say on this page the simultaneous connections simultaneous simultaneous connections uh I do not see it. There's no simultaneous connections here. So that's annoying. So I'm pretty sure Winscribe actually gives you like unlimited simultaneous connections. So there's not really a limit per se. I think the reason they do this is because they kind of figure that people aren't really going to go that much above maybe five to 10 in that region. I think that's also why some of these other VPNs have kind of that eight to 10 region because that's kind of where people kind of max out. So maybe OneScribe is just automatically letting people not worry about it and giving them, um, I guess, the benefit of the doubt. So that's also a good option because there's not really a limit. The only downside compared to the last two options is, like I said, for everything included, all access, all servers, it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but still a solid option nonetheless. Next up, we have VPN Unlimited. Now, VPN Unlimited is pretty cool and that you could pick a plan specifically depending on how many devices you want used. Now, Keep Solid is definitely not as rated as high as TorGuard or Wii VPN, and some of the privacy policy is a little bit concerning, but it does have pretty good streaming compatibility, and overall the speeds for the product aren't bad either, and you could pay extra to get 10 simultaneous devices, which is pretty good. However, this is going to be a bit pricey. It's going to be around $90 a year, $15 a month, and you could pay lifetime for $300. I actually think $300 is a fair price for a lifetime payment um, compared to some other options that give you like 20 bucks for a lifetime. That's obviously just a scam. $300 seems to be pretty legitimate in terms of getting a lifetime VPN bundle because it's pretty expensive. I don't think they're just like tricking you and going to sell out or it's not going to start working because that's, that's a pretty big payment. Now, it's definitely not as cheap as some of the other options I just mentioned. It's just kind of cool and... Uh, 10 simultaneous devices is pretty good compared to a lot of other options. If we take a look comparing this to, you know, one year, $90 and you get 10, ExpressVPN is around $100 a year and you only get five. So it still deserves some merit. And it's interesting how you could pay depending on how much you want. PureVPN is another VPN on the tier list that does pretty well in certain categories like speeds and streaming compatibility. Overall, it's not a bad VPN. You know, the reputation is a little bit questionable and some of the logging in the past, like they gave up logs on users that were criminals is a little bit concerning to say the least. However, they are pretty affordably priced and they do give you 10 simultaneous logins. You can pick up the monthly pan or um, I think this plan right here is going to be, you gotta be tricky with these. Um, so seven day trial, so that's a seven day trial um and then you have six months so this six months is going to be um around 40 48 dollars i think right there um and then you have this plan after seven days you'll be subscribed to the yearly plan for 78 dollars so that's kind of tricky here um looks like they've kind of changed up this pricing a little bit here on pure vpn um you have to do the seven day trial in order to get the yearly plan which is kind of weird um, and that's kind of tricky there, I think, but $78 for one year and 10 simultaneous logins isn't bad compared to some of the other options out there. You know, it's more similar to VPN Unlimited or something like that compared to how cheap, uh, you know, we VPN is, it's going to be $30 compared to $78 and you're both getting 10 simultaneous for each one. Um, so yeah, there you go. Anyways, guys, I haven't really seen too many people talking about simultaneous connections and stuff like that. And I think a lot of people who are praising specific VPN providers often don't really account for people's needs in terms of how many VPN devices are connected at the same time. These are some of my top rated VPNs out there that offer really good connections between Unlimited and up to 8 to 10. I know there are some other VPNs out there, stuff like Surfshark, which offers, I guess, unlimited connections as well. But I'm not a huge fan of that service. I find that it's slow. The pricing models are sketchy. The reputation is not very good. Live chat can be questionable as well. Overall, just not a very good product. So the list that I've created here, curate, curated, curated, is good products. Products that I would recommend using. So everything here is pretty good, you know, with variations here and there in specific categories that you could check specifically on each VPN review. If you do want to do that, of course, it's on vpntierless.com. You could click on each one of these reviews, or if you just want to go for my top two recommended here in this list, 
I would probably recommend TorGuard or WeVPN. I would say TorGuard is the more reliable choice. WeVPN, maybe if you want to take a little bit of a risk on that newer product, but get two extra simultaneous connections if that's something you're into. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts. If you want to help support the channel, of course, click on the links down in the description down below and you'll help support the channel stay alive because that's how i stay alive by you clicking on my stuff if you don't i'm not gonna stay alive all right guys the other next one by the way you guys like my hair i just took a shower if you got this far say nice hair <laughs>